very own special cooking for connoisseurs. Well, actually, it's cooking chicken for dinner. It's simple chicken for dinner. Today we're going to be cooking chicken in tomato, garlic and herb sauce. So let's get started. First we take one medium onion, cut in half, peel off the outer skin, put that back in there, we can't have it broken so it has to be fixed. Then with a very sharp knife, Ooh. No, joking. We cut the onion very, very fine. Like so. Have a half. We do the same. Oh, there it doesn't keep falling apart on me. Come on. Choppy choppy. Then we place onion into a small blender. There we go. Let's get all of the onion in there. We don't want to leave any behind because this is going to go into making the sauce. So we want it super, super pulverized. That's the onion in there. Then we want to throw in some garlic. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, very nice. Now, when it comes to the garlic, we get the garlic, we top and tail it, then we just put a knife on there, bang, there you go, garlic stuck on there. Skin comes straight off, throw the skin away, put that in with the onions. Right, now comes the noisy bit. Lid on there. And now to get deafened. And that's that blended. Next we take our chicken breasts which have been in the sink, washed them off, got all the yucky off them. Right, so we're drying the water off. Three nice sized chicken breasts. There you go. And take them over to the pan. And we put them on one side, we just put them there. Now we'll get our onion and garlic mixture. And we add to that into the pan. Try not to leave any behind because this is going to be yummy. There we go. There we go. And next, next we want to put in some tomato soup. Campbell's condensed, something like that. What you have here? Campbell's condensed. I'm not showing any makers names or anything so I'm not infringing on anything right so we want a can of tuna and some canned tomatoes diced very important to get diced ones big ones lumpy not good not good diced bed in eggs so 
in go the tomatoes and the tomato soup. Just pour all the tomatoes in there. Lovely. And the tomato soup. Now gotta make sure this is the condensed tomato soup. Then what I like to do is just give it a little bit of extra. Um, don't know what the right word is. Liquidness. I've just invented it. Just nearly half filled a can with some water and then we pour that on top. Makes it easier to mix everything in. But, uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> mix that in. There, hang on, let's tilt this up a bit. Seemed to be a bit lost there, didn't, didn't we? Alright, we'll give that a stir in. Just do it gently so as not to splash it everywhere. We don't want to end up wearing it, do we? No. we want to throw some herbs or for the Americans some herbs or however they bloody say it but I'm English so it's herbs wunderbar now that's German yeah mate that's English now what I like to do is use a bit of oregano not to be confused with the American oregano this is oregano see this is even spelt like they do it in England Oregano, not oregano. Unless you're American, that's it. Oregano, and I'm wrong. So who cares? We'll take that off. Uh, we don't need that anymore. And then we're gonna sprinkle some in here like this. Yeah. Plenty of that in there. We don't want to be shy because we want to go for a flavour that's gonna bust your brain cell, mate. Lovely jubbly. Look at that. Right. And now it's the turn of the chicken. 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 Oh, he's just had a wee. How nasty. Well, first I'm going to clean that up with some magic kitchen towel. Back in a moment. Go it down. Done. Let's just throw this in the trash. We don't want any animals getting hold of it, do we? And... On to the chicken breast. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap. No, nope, they're definitely dead. We can use them. Right, put the chicken in the pan with the herbs, the tomato, and all that fun stuff, like this. Right, what we do, we pop that there, and we'll give that the herbs a little bit of a stir about. We lay the chicken breast into the pan. Nice and gentle like that. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, lass? Oh, that's grand, that is. That's Northern England accent, you know. It's marvellous. Right, we throw that on to one side because we don't want that anymore, do we? No! Okay, right, now we go and get spoon to put stuff over top. Or in normal English, we go and get a spoon to put the stuff over the top and a spoon isn't in that drawer there, yeah, so I'll have to look at that. Well, let's look in here. Spoon. Ah, Spoon. Hello, my name is Unspoon, and I'm for the understirring and the whipping. Yeah. Now we have Unspoon, and we do the stirring of the dish, like so, yeah? Yeah. You will stir the dish. <laughs> 